Welcome to this morning's edition of Business Talk. C5 takes a deeper look at local businesses and services. This morning on Business Talk, we speak with David Rogers, CEO of Sunset Community Health Centers. What is Sunset Community Health Center? Sunset Community Health Center is a federally qualified health center that's uh, here to, to provide the primary uh, health and dental services to the underserved and uninsured patient populations here in Yuma County. How many people do you serve? Sunset uh, has about a patient population of about 26,000 and we do about 110,000 encounters a year and uh, we employ about 30 different uh, providers of, of primary care. Can you elaborate on the care you provide? No, we, bas uh, we provide basic uh, primary care, which uh, basically we have uh, three types of physicians in our organization. We have internal medicine physicians who care more for the elderly population and chronic disease and illness. We also have pediatricians who take care of uh, both chronic uh, disease for uh, you know, pediatric patients, but also uh, primarily what they do is see acute care of patients that are sick, uh, pediatric patients that are sick. And, uh, and then our dentists do general dentistry, so uh, they do all uh, forms of dentistry uh, from a general practice point of view. And then uh, we'll also, with the expansion here, and we didn't mention this earlier, we'll be able to rotate our uh, OBGYN uh, providers out to this location in the months uh, and, and the years ahead. Do you take insurance? Sunset uh, accepts all forms of insurance. We turn no patients away. And then, of course, for those patients that don't have insurance, we provide care on a sliding fee scale basi basis. But we do not turn any patients away from uh, any of our clinics. Can non-insured receive care? Yeah, if a patient does not have insurance, uh, we basically gather some uh, logistical and demographic information, and then we provide those services on a, uh, a sliding fee scale, and in many cases, the patient uh, has to pay a very nominal fee, if anything at all. How many of your patients have no insurance? Off the top of my head, about 30% uh, of our patient population have no insurance at all. Yeah, but the, the bigger problem, I think, in, in healthcare now is really with patients that are underinsured, which means uh, they can't, affair, can't afford their deductibles and co-pays. And, and so many of our patients have insurance, but they still cannot afford the cost of care because of all the out-of-pocket costs associated with the limited plans that they have. David, thank you for joining us. And we're extremely excited that uh, Congress has put uh, this much faith and trust in community health centers to kind of be at the forefront of health care reform and, and be positioned to uh, help improve access to care for patients that uh, have limited resources and or have no medical home at all. That's all for today's edition of Business Talk, weekday mornings on ABC5.